Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, thank you guys for clicking on this video and I hope you are enjoying my videos that are coming out at the moment. Um, today I have a pretty good one. So I've recently found one of my top wish list plants online. Um, and I've this has been on my wish list for like two years now. I think ever, well, ever since I've been doing houseplant videos, it's been one of my like top wish list plants. And I, they normally, you can normally get cuttings of them that have like two leaves that are like, it's like 20 quid for a cutting, but I uh, managed to find an entire plant. It's like an 11 centimeter, I think it's 11, mm, I think it's an 11 centimeter pot. It might be a little bit bigger than that. Um, a whole plant for 27.99. Um, and I've just received it today. I bought it on um, eBay. So they've used, they've like reused a, a beer bo uh, box. Um, but I'm going to open it up right now. So I think they only, it, it was marked as dispatched yesterday and it came today. So it seems like it wasn't in the post for very long. Um, I don't know which way up it is. Like, I really can't tell. And I'm, I'm hoping that it's not damaged in any way. Um, and the interesting thing about this is I posted it on my um, Instagram story when I bought it straight away. Um, here's my Instagram if you are interested. Um, Planting Memories YT. Um, I posted it on my Instagram story and a couple of you guys, a couple of my Instagram friends or followers or people that I follow <laughs> um, actually bought the exact same um, plant like from the same seller and one of them received theirs a couple of weeks ago. I think they showed me a picture of theirs a couple of weeks ago and then um, another one received it today and sent me a picture of theirs and it looks it looked relatively good like it was well worth the money so I'm hoping that my one is quite decent as well um I'll just open the top of the box and inside we've got newspaper and packaging paper let's get the newspaper out first I'll chuck that straight in the bin just gotta be careful because I don't want to accidentally knock off any of the leaves oh I haven't even said what this is it is a Hoya macrophylla variegata <laughs> Like, lifted that along without saying. Um, uh -huh. Okay, I can see part of it, right? So it's actually, I think this is the part down here. And then it's like been bent over. Yeah, here we go, right. So there are leaves up here. So you can tell it's quite a like decent sized plant. Right, oh, finger, please cross your fingers for me because like, I'm not going to be upset if it's, like, a bit crap because of the price. Like, it's such a good price. But I really want it to be good. And I want to hang it up on my window, so I want it to be nice. Um, I also want to know where they got these from because they are selling them, like, at a relatively decent price. Or, like, they're selling they're selling them at a price in this... Oh, I don't know. Wow, some of these leaves are huge. Cool. Okay, right. I'll open it, like, facing you. It's in, like... An orange sack. Oh, it's in a hanging pot. Cool. I like. I didn't pay attention when I when I bought this. I saw the price and I was like, "Yep, buy." <laughs> bought it straight away. And I've never spent that much money on a plant and like, not thought about it. But with this, I literally just paid for it straight away. I was like, "Yeah, that's the one. I'm getting that." Right. So let's quickly get this open. Nice. So you can see like a couple of the leaves at the top. Ooh. I like the packaging as well. There's like not much plastic. Other than what's directly around the plant. Right, okay. It's definitely bigger than an 11 centimeter plant. Let's get that off. Right, so I can't see too much so far. Let me. You're not going to see if I put it there. Let me change my camera. Right, so I'm just going to place it there so you can kind of see. Whoops. So you can see me opening it. Um, I might as well just cut through this because I'm not going to be reusing. Make sure I don't accidentally cut through the plant. Right. It looks relative, like it looks healthy. So far, so good. I know I can't see the entire thing yet. Um, and I don't see any damage. Okay, cool. Yeah, there are like some of the stems. Oh, that stem is completely snapped. Oh, that's a shame. I'll be able to take that, like a cutting of that. Um, I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, you can see a thing. Right, so. This stem here is actually completely snapped, uh, which is like, it's all right. Oh God, that is like super wrinkly. Can you see that? I don't know how you can see that. Okay. Uh, 
Right, so as far as plastic use goes, it's not actually used that much plastic, which is nice. <laughs> Right, so what does that say? It looks like it says Nathan. Um, no, it doesn't say. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Let me get this tissue paper out of here. It feels relatively wet, which is not the best. Let's get that out. Right, so the packaging has worked really well. There's no, there wasn't any soil spillage. Not that I care, I don't care about soil spillage. Like that's not something that I'm really like, I'm not gonna lose sleep over, but um, there wasn't any anyway. Um, I am happy, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Like this part needs to come off, um, but I guess it's like relatively similar to the picture, but like it looks messy and it looks a bit like, mm, but, those leaves are so cool and really nice. They're a good size as well. Those actual, like, individual leaves are really, like, a really good size. So I am happy overall. There's, like, a lot of the top stems don't have leaves on. Um, looks like they've had leaves and the leaves, yeah, the leaves have come off here and here. Uh, so, like, right. I need to think of it in the sense that it's really good for the money because £27 um, would have got you maybe two cuttings. Um, if the seller is generous, so like to get, well, there's like, yeah, well, there's only two stems in here, but they're rooted and it's like a, a relatively established plant. So like, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm, I'm happy that I've got it. Yeah. And it does look, it does look really nice. I'm going to put it in a different pot because I think the pot just makes it look a lot <laughs> uglier. Um, overall I'm happy, but it's a shame about that snapped branch, but I'll be able to take a cutting of that if I get it in water pretty quick it's actually dried like the the leaf i don't know if you can really see how wrinkled that leaf is i mean you see how wrinkled my hand is but so the price was really good like that is a really good price considering um how much people ask for these at the moment um i'm a little like i don't mind that because i'll be able to take it as cutting but I just wish there were a lot more new growth on here because that would show that it's really healthy, um, but there's not. But overall, I am pleased and the leaves are beautiful. And that, well, that leaf in the center is huge. That one right there is massive, but it's gonna look a lot better once I get it out of this pot and put it into a nice pot. Um, what does it say on there? Oh, macrophylla. Yeah, so definitely pleased. I think it is just the pot that's making it look ugly in my eyes because the plant is so pretty, like especially this, th these two leaves here and this one here actually, it's just so nice. I love the veinage on that, veinage, veining, veinage sounds weird. Um, I love the veining on there because it's like not just a main central rib vein, it's like kind of three main veins as opposed to just one. And that is like so attractive. And um, the variegation around the edges is really nice. It's not like super, super thick. But it's just, it's similar to the, um, what's that? Yeah. Um, similar to the Crimson Queen, where it's quite like thin uh, variegation around the edges. So overall, I'm really pleased. I know I've said that like four times, it's probably getting a bit annoying, but I'm overall pleased with the price. Like it is, for the price, it's really good. Um, I'm a little, I wish it was in a little bit better condition, but like it'll come back, it'll be fine. The The soil looks like decent soil, like, it's in a mix of, you see perlite in there and some multi-purpose compost. So I'll probably, I will be transplanting this I'll, and I'll see what I can, what sort of pot I can find, one that looks really good, but I am really pleased with, with these lower leaves at the bottom. It's just the ones at the top that are a bit like, looking a bit rough. Um, there are, yeah, it looks like there's two uh, rooted cuttings in there. So for 27 pound it is like, it's a good price. 
So let me know what you guys think of this. Um, let me know if you think this was a good price. I don't know how much these are in um, the US or anywhere else in the world. I have no idea on price um, for this around the world. I just know that in the UK or in England specifically where I live, it's quite difficult to come by. Um, and at the moment, it just seems that everyone's trying to sell cuttings for like a ridiculous price rather than selling any plants. So to find a plant that's actually got multiple stems for a price that is arguably okay i'm happy with i'm happy with that and um i was patient i waited i've waited for about two years to get one of these so to find it um in a pot like i don't have a hanging pot i've always kind of wanted a hanging pot i'm not going to keep this in this hanging pot but i'll be able to use the hanging pot for something else i was like scratch that off there um so that's cool as well like it's actually the pot itself is not even a bad pot <laughs> like i'm trying to reason it i'm not overly happy with like how damaged it is but for the price i need to think of that it's like a good price so i'm it's like super happy to have this in my collection I'm, I'm even more excited to wait and see it grow get some nice fresh growth on there um if you guys have a hoya macrophylla variegata let me know your care tips uh what sort of sun like light level do you keep it in and do you feed it um because i haven't personally fed any of my hoyas um my biggest hoya at the moment i've never fed it it just grows by itself like it just I seem to have it in really good conditions. Um, but I'm interested to see whether this might be do better um, if it's fed. Um, but yeah, I'm over, like, I am impressed. I am impressed, but I think it's just because I love the plant. Like, I'm not overly happy with the fact that it's snapped, but the thing is, it doesn't even look like a new snap. Like, it doesn't look like that even happened in the packaging. I don't know if you can really see it. Just kind of looks like dry already, but um, that's all right, we've got, we've got time patience if we could wait two years to get one we can wait we can wait for it to look good so um let me know what you guys think do you think that was a good price i know it was a good price in my opinion but do you do you think that was a good price um and yeah and i'm really happy to actually finally get this and be able to tick it off my wish list so i mean it's starting out 2021 pretty good um i do i haven't shown it on my channel yet but i did recently as in a few days after Christmas, well, yeah, a couple of days after Christmas, I actually bought myself another one of my wish list plants. So I've been treating myself quite a bit. Um, but I'm doing that in an entire video. So I'm going to, like, I'm doing the unboxing and then I'm doing the planting of it and then waiting for it to sprout. And then I'm going to show it all in one video as opposed to longing it out into like three separate videos that may, like, you may lose interest by the third. So I got that as well. So I'm treating myself to my wishlist plants. Um, I guess the only wishlist plant that I haven't yet got is my um, Astrophytum variegated Astrophytum, which is like I'm still gonna wait out for that one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna splash out for that one just yet. But this one, I thought it was definitely worth the price, and I am, I am happy with it. Um, yeah, I, once I transplant it out of a different pot, I think I'll be a bit happier with it. It'll look a bit more presentable. Right, so I'm gonna be putting putting it up into a terracotta pot. I've found this terracotta pot in my garden. I've kind of cleaned it out <laughs> and I've, um, I'm gonna take this out and plant it into there. I've taken all of the dying off dead and um, I removed the hanger and it does look a bit better now. I'm a bit happier with it now. And um, I've put this into some water at the moment. Um, this was the bit that snapped off. So I cut it so it's a fresh cut. Um, and I've just put it in water for now, but I'm going to put that inside my propagator um, and try and root that that way because I feel like that'd be a bit better than just leaving it in water. Um, and then I'm going to mix in a lot of sphagnum moss with, well, I'm going to cut it up quite finely, mix it in with the soil that I use in there um, just to help with the aeration and drainage and also uh, moisture retention as well. Um, so yeah, this is just like long fibrous sphagnum moss, or just, th this is the same sphagnum that I use for my carnivorous plants at the moment. Um, right, so I'm going to try and take these out of here. I don't think they're going to be very well rooted, um, because I have an inkling that they were recently transplanted, but I have not got, m uh, Try not to make too much of a mess. They're quite wet in here. No, no mess, please. Yeah, it's a little bit damp. 
Yeah, I think they've been recently transplanted because that doesn't look like, like a natural rooting. Um, I'm not going to mess around with those roots. I'm going to leave them like that. I don't want to damage any of them. So I'm going to leave them like that. Um, I don't know how much you can see, but... And then, right, this soil mix actually looks all right. Let me pour it out onto this tray. Because I bought these trays over so that I could be messy and not worry about it. But this soil actually looks pretty good. It's got a bit of... Hmm, what's it got in it? Yeah, these are definitely recently transplanted. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to reuse that, but I'm going to mix in some of my speckle moss. Because there's a lot of perlite in there. A lot of organic matter, and it's like quite chunky. Yeah, there's like um, coconut husk in there too. You can see coconut husk in there, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm quite pleased with that. So I'm just going to get my my indoor secateurs, cut up some of this sphagnum moss into just smaller pieces, and then mix it in. So I'm just going to be careful not to cut myself. And I think once I've potted it up, I'm going to be a bit more pleased with it and it's going to look a bit nicer. And I want to hang it up in the window, so I think once it's in this nice pot, it'll, it'll be a bit more presentable. Um, so because the roots are relatively deep on this, I can probably just put them in there like that and then just backfill. Oh, that looks so much nicer in that pot. Yeah, that's going to look so much nicer. And then I'll just backfill around and try and get it to kind of hold itself up a bit better. I do want a bit more sphagnum moss in here. Let's get a bit more sphagnum moss. Um, there we go. Let's cut out a little bit more. I don't want that, there's a big lump of like peat there. I don't really want that in there. There we go. And then, so I do want it to be quite loose because I don't want these. Um, if you do overwater these, they do rot quite easy. Um, so I want it to be quite well draining. Oh, that's a lot prettier. I want these leaves to stand up a little bit more. So I'm just going to stuff that in there. There we go. And then once that cutting roots, so I'll be able to plant it in here with that, with these. And that'll look a lot better. There we go. If I kind of face that your way. That looks a bit more better, doesn't it? A bit more better. That's good English, that. It looks a lot better. And, oh, yeah, no, I'm a lot more pleased with that. Um, I think I'll leave it there. I don't want to mess around with it too much. Um, do I leave the label in? No, I know what it is, don't I? <laughs> I don't need that label. So... Just wipe off the blades, put that away. Right, so I think I'm a lot happier with that. And these two leaves here are huge and beautiful. Like that is my favorite leaf that right there. Um, I'm just gonna turn the camera around. Right, so I'm definitely happier with it now that I've potted it up. It looks so much nicer and a lot more presentable. Um, and now that it's in like a nicer pot, it kind of doesn't matter so much that that the plant isn't so big. Oh, that's beautiful. That's lovely. And just look at the size of that leaf. You really, it doesn't really look that big on on camera, but like that is huge. That one. So yeah, that looks so much nicer. That's a really nice color pot as well. So it contrasts really nicely. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna try and get some sort of um, I could stick a cane in there and then hold these up a bit better onto the cane. But for now, I think I'll leave it. I do. I did want this hanging in the, in the window, but I don't think there's enough room for it at the moment. So I'm just going to put it into like into some bright indirect light. Um, well, I won't be able to put it in direct light anyway in this room because I don't really get much direct light this time of year because of where my windows are on my walls. Um, but I'm definitely a lot more pleased with that and it looks really, that looks so much nicer. I think initially I was just a bit, because um, I was comparing it so much to the picture that was on the listing, I'll insert it here. 
Um, they just look a lot fuller and um, just more impressive. But I am happy with this and I cannot complain with that price. So I'm I'm definitely falling more in love with it now that I've got it. Look at that leaf. I do really like that variegation on there because it comes into this like, into the leaf a bit further than than these. But that is lovely. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, that looks so much nicer. I kind of want them to be a bit closer together. But that's really good. I could always cut this as well and stick it in there so it makes a fuller centre. But I'll leave it for now. Let it settle in. See how it goes. I don't think it's going to drop any leaves. The leaves are really secure. Nothing's wilting. It's all really good. So I think we're all good. I don't. I just don't like the empty sticks. I know it's quite common on Hoyas, but I just really don't like that look. So I could cut it and let it grow out of the um, out of the node there. But um, for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. I've already cut one piece off that snapped. So um, I'll leave it there for now. Let it settle in. Um, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any um, advice on these, care advice tips, um, definitely let me know. I do have Hoyas and I've kept Hoyas um, successfully, but I've never kept a, a Hoya that's... Um, well, I've never kept a macrophyla. So if you guys have any tips, definitely let me know. Um, and other than that, I'm going to leave that there. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed and um, I'm really excited to have my, like, that was like my second top wish list plant. So, so far this year has been pretty good in terms of plants. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.